Hello there and welcome! In this video we will show you how to work with filtering options of any entity listings so you can apply the filter functions on any list within the system and also we will show you how to work with options. So now let's have a look. You can find filters over here. Now we see the filter menu. Click on the add filter and here you can see all the entities. You can choose here the options and over here you can choose different statuses you would like to see. You can also adjust options. Here you can add and remove columns. So right now we have assignee, due date and percentage, which you can also see over here. This way you can add more columns, for example, author and category. Now let's click apply settings. And now you can see that the new columns appear over here, which we have just added. Here in the options, you can also choose the option to show the total row. You can also load groups opened, which is linked to this option over here, where you can choose to group the results by a certain feature. For example, we can choose author. And lastly, you can choose to show avatars or not to show them, which you can see over here. And when you hover above it, you can see the name of the assignee. And if you don't want to see the avatar, just untick this option and instead you will see the names. Now let's apply the settings. Now you can see that the tasks are grouped by author. Here you can see the assignee instead of the avatar. And also over here you can see the author. And as you can see, all the groups are opened. If you would like to see just the list of the groups, you will uncheck this option and click apply. So this is the way the list looks now. Uh, you can open individual groups by clicking on the plus button. You can also save your filters, which will appear over here. Here you can find your private filters and below there are public filters that everyone can see. You can also set filters to particular roles. And over here you can see the default filter, which will always show up over here. And in this case, it is workers task. So you can just click on the user and then you will be able to see a list of tasks where this user is the assignee. In order to create a new filter, just go to filter, set what you want the filter to be and click save button. And then you will land on this page where you can create a new filter. Here you can add the name for this filter. You can choose to whom this filter is visible. You can make it private, that is only visible to you. You can make it global or you can make it visible to only certain roles. So let's select consultants, project managers and for example CEOs. Here you can also choose if you want to have this filter on all the projects. Now, here you can choose where you want this filter to be displayed. You can either choose to see it over here in the default column, or if you choose this option, you will be able to see it over here on the top. So for the one in the heading, you can choose an icon and also a color. Here you can further edit your filter. Here you can also choose the theme and below you can choose to sort the results by a certain entity and here you can choose the ascending or descending order. Here is also the grouping options and the display option. We will leave it as it is and click save. Now you can see that the new filter appeared over here. It has a small icon and the color that we chose. So now, if we go to the list of all the tasks, you can see the new filter on the top, but also on the side over here. They appear under separate filter subsections for different roles. Here we can see the consultants and above it there is a project manager. So to use this filter, just click on it. And as you can see, the tasks are filtered. Here in the URL, you can see the filter ID. Also, now you can see this small menu over here. Here you can edit this filter, delete it, or copy this filter for another user. 
So here in the list, you can just choose one of the users. And now this user will see this filter no matter what kind of role he has. And that's all. Thank you for watching and good luck!